Yo. What's good, YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video. And I got something special for y'all today, man. Today, I got the top 10 reasons why your brand probably not gonna make it, bro. And listen, bro, I'm not a negative person. I'm, I'm not none of that, bro. But sometimes you just need that one nigga that's just gonna be like, all right, bro, this is some, this some bullshit, bro. Real talk. And I'm gonna keep it real. If nobody call you out on the bullshit that you're doing, you gonna continue to do it, bro. Like nine times out of 10, you gonna continue to do it. You never gonna see it because nobody ever told you, bro. You feel me? Like everybody need that one person in their life that's just gonna be like, hey man, this shit you doing right here, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Everybody need that type of person. And this is not me saying like your brand sucks or anything like that, but if you doing this shit, bro, nine times out of 10, you got some, you know what I'm saying? You got some shit to fix, bro. Real talk, you got some shit to fix. So, yeah, man, um, let's just get straight into the vid. So yeah, man, this is top 10 reasons why your brand probably not gonna make it, bro. Number one, number one on the list is you still making, making Y2K designs, bro. What the hell? And if you see me looking over here, it's cause I, I got notes over here and shit. But bro, we're in 2023, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It, look, 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 2024 about to come up. Look, bro. Them Y2K designs, bro, they're played out, my nigga. No, like, re like, real talk, they're played out. If you make a Y2K design, niggas are gonna flame you, bro. They're played out. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't see Y2K designs even blowing up no more. Like, I remember, like, in 2022 type shit, I feel like it was still popping a little bit. But now, bro, come on, bro. Like... And, and, and it's cool though Cause I feel like Everybody that fell victim to it At one point in time In their clothing brand career Like Nigga I done made a Y2K Nigga this shit I got on right now Is Y2K But I made this like a year ago Nigga I got a Y2K jacket in it Hold on Let me show y'all my Y2K jacket real quick Everybody that fell victim to this shit bro. Every, every last one of us Has fell victim To the Y2K shit bro It's okay bro but listen, we gotta evolve, man. You know what I'm saying? We gotta evolve. We can't can't be stuck in the past, man. Gotta be more a little bit more original, bro. Everybody that made some Y2K shit. Bro. Come on. The second reason you don't like spending money. And I'ma keep it completely honest with you, bro. When you start your clothing brand, bro, you gonna be like, you gonna be in the hole a little bit. You gonna be in the hole. Like. Nobody just starts this clothing brand shit and they instantly making money, bro. Like, you're gonna have to invest money to make money. You're not just gonna see that shit come back instantly. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like that's a big misconception about clothing brands is that, bro, you just gonna, like, you know what I'm saying? You just gonna post your shit and niggas going, oh, that shit fire. And, but it just don't work like that, bro, because it actually takes time to learn how to make a good product, learn how to market, learn how to, you know what I'm saying, learn how to grow a community and do all of that shit, bro. So I'ma keep it real. If you if you not if, you know what I'm saying, if you scared to spend money and shit like that, you don't want to spend money on on, on on your brand and shit. You don't want to invest. You cook, bro. You know what I'm saying. Go go and find something else. You feel me? You need to you know what I'm saying. Go to trade school. Be a motherfucking mechanic or some shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. Clothing clothing ain't for you, brother. But. Um, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, any, any, everybody can learn how to invest though, you feel me? But if you really just that nigga that's just like, yeah, I, I don't want to spend money on clothes. You're cooked. You're cooked. Go do something else, brother. I ain't gonna lie. Do something else, brother, because this shit ain't for you, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This shit ain't for you. But on to the next, man. We got number three. You're insecure. And I feel like, um... That's not even a feel like, bro. If you're insecure, period, and you trying to build a clothing brand, this shit, it's gonna fuck with you mentally, bro. Cause I'm gonna keep it real. Let's say, um, your first job, right? All right. 
obviously, everybody's first drop, nine times out of 10, is not gonna go good. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's your first drop. You know what I'm saying? You just learn it and shit like that. Um, your product probably not gonna be that good. You feel me? All of this other shit, you know what I'm saying? You probably don't know how to like market and shit like that. Bro, niggas is gonna, I'm gonna keep it real. If you post your shit on social media, it's gonna be niggas that just say your shit suck, bro. But the thing about that is you can't take it to heart, bro. You got you gotta be a man about this shit. You really gotta take it in. You gotta be like, okay, this shit suck. I gotta work on this shit. How I'm, how I'm gonna make this shit better. You can't be like, oh, this shit suck. I'm gonna stop doing it. You know what I'm saying? And that that's the thing. I feel like that's when niggas stop. Cause they hear, you know what I'm saying, the bag come in, you feel me? And it's just like they can't they can't handle it, bruh. They they hear a nigga say they shit suck. They think they shit suck. No, bruh, it's not that your shit suck. It's just it sucks right now. In the future, you feel me? When you learn more shit and you take the time out and you actually feel me, you gon' you gonna be straight. But it's just you gotta, you know what I'm saying, you gotta get through that initial, you know what I'm saying, bullshit, get better, and then you'll be there, you feel me? And that's that's a problem with people. So if you're insecure, bro, and you, you know what I'm saying, niggas get to your head when they call your shit trash, bro, you gotta do better, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'ma keep it real, not everybody gonna like your shit. And if you can't handle that, this shit is not for you, man. But yeah, let's just go on to the next, man. We on to the next one. Um, number four, you don't have a community. Now, if you know anything about business or if you work, I don't know, if you work anywhere like sales or, you know what I'm saying, anything like that, you would know that having leads and shit like that is important when it comes to making money. Um, leads in the clothing brand world is just building a community, all right? So if you got a group of people and it's just like, they fuck with your brand or they know you, you know what I'm saying? And you keep all of them together. Like it's, it's different ways to do it. Like um, Discord, you know what I'm saying? Uh, having Discord and just having people in the Discord and they can just, you know what I'm saying? Talk to each other, converse, you feel me? That's a really good way of building a community. You know what I'm saying? Um, having like different events, you know what I'm saying? Let's say like fashion shows, um, um, involving people like if you got friends making your friends models and shit like that giving out pieces and shit like that doing giveaways and um just doing different shit involved with your brand with the with the community you know what i'm saying with the people that's mind your shit bro that is a fantastic way of building a community but if you can't do that bro and it's just like you just out here dropping shit bro you just expect it. it's not gonna work and what's crazy is that it's people that, that blow up, right? They blow up on their clothing brand and it's like, they don't have a community, but they getting sales, you feel me? Like they fire, like they drop some real fire shit, but they don't have a community. They'll be good for like a couple months, but down the road, bro, if these, you know what I'm saying? They usually just fall out because they don't have consistent customers coming in just because they fuck with them, you feel me? They don't, they don't have that con consistent customer base to where, you know what I'm saying? Drop out their drop. They just gonna have people because they got loyal customers in this video. But yeah, um, yeah, man. Let's just go on to the next. Uh, damn, this video kind of long, bro. I don't really like making these. You know what I'm saying? Like these long videos, to me. I ain't even. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not even a talkative person. So when it comes to these long videos, it's kind of like, damn, this shit gonna take a little bit out of me. But number five, um, we got. You don't take the time out to learn. And that's very important because it's like, how do you expect to grow if you don't take the time out to learn? Like I say, at least take 30 minutes. 30 minutes, not a lot. Um, take 30 minutes out your day. Just watch some clothing brand videos on YouTube, bro. Literally, you know what I'm saying? Write some notes, you know what I'm saying? Do something just so that you can internalize some information and use it for your clothing brand, bro. Like, if you know you suck at marketing, go on YouTube, watch some marketing videos, and get better, bro. That's all I can say. Um, it's just learning, bro. Read books, do all of that, bro. Because if you're not learning, you're not gonna get better, bro. 
at all. And that's all I can say, bro. You can't just keep doing the same shit over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Expecting it to work. You gotta continue evolving, continue to get better. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, on to the next, man. We got number six. Listen, bro. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. This is something, this is something that I had to learn myself. You gotta have a car. And if y'all younger, you feel me? That's cool. Still, still, you know what I'm saying? Still do your thing, you feel me? But I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Having a car while you got a clothing brand is almost crucial, bro. It really is because when you get sales, you know what I'm saying? You gotta package shit. Guess where you gotta go after you get your sales and your shit come in? You know what I'm saying? From your manufacturer. Guess where you gotta go? Every single time you drop. You gotta go to the fucking post office, bro. You gotta go to the post office a lot, my nigga. Real talk. And getting Ubers going back and forth to the post office, bro, that shit not it, bro. Like, you gonna, you gonna be spending so much money on Ubers just going to the fucking post office. I'm not gonna lie. Because you, you gotta ship your shit out, bro. Not only that, you gotta travel to different locations to just, like, do different shit. Like, let's say you wanna do a photo shoot or something. Bro, you gotta travel to do the photo shoot. You feel me? You gotta do all of this other shit. And on top of that, you gonna wanna do it on your own time. Like, you not gonna wanna rely on other niggas to take you places and shit. Like, bro, having a car is is crucial, bro. It's crucial. And I'm just now learning that, bro. I'm just now learning that. So, yeah, man, having a car, you know what I'm saying, that will help you out a lot. Cause as the clothing brand owner, you gonna have to do a lot of traveling when it comes to a bunch of different things. Just marketing, meetups, you know what I'm saying? Uh, networking and shit, bro. Just a, you gotta do travel. You gotta travel. You gonna have to do a lot of travel. Um, number seven, um, you don't pay attention to details. Now, brother, hear me out. When you cop something, bro, I mean, of course the design has to be fire and shit like that. But think about when you buy clothes, bro. The clothes that you buy always they they always gonna have a tag on it. It's always gonna say like the brand name like on the sleeve or something like that. So that and the thing about that is it really like helps you kind of remember what the brand is, if you get what I'm saying. Like you look down at your sleeve, you see motherfucking you know what I'm saying? And not only that, it's just the small stuff that make people think your brand is, is high quality. Like, let's say you got packaging and it's just like a blink, you know what I'm saying? It's just a blink, like, um, it's just like a blink poppy bag and that just, shit just all black. But let's just say, you know what I'm saying? You replace that with, with, um, with something that got your logo on it. Like, it's gonna be way different. Like, niggas appreciate, like, the smaller stuff. Like, just having, like, let's say, like, you know what I'm saying, having business cards inside of your um your packaging and stuff like that, putting, like, little toys in there. Like, customers appreciate that, bro. You gotta make it an experience for the customer. So doing small things, like, you know what I'm saying, putting stuff in the packaging, you know what I'm saying, putting little cards in there, um, including tags and stuff on your clothing, it just makes the customer experience better and it makes them think that your product is more high quality. Um, that's really all I could say about that, man. You gotta pay attention to the small details, man. That's really what sets you apart from other brands because other niggas, they, not, they, 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 you feel me? They're not paying attention to shit. They don't, they not paying attention like that, bro. So the more that you pay attention and the more that you lock in on your product, the more people gonna fuck with you because they gonna see you put in that hard work and they gonna appreciate it, bro. Everybody appreciates somebody that actually, you know what I'm saying, cares about what they do and take the time out to pay attention to the small stuff and make it perfect. So if you can't do that, bro, you know what I'm saying, nine times out of 10, it's a nigga that is and he gonna be doing better than you, bro. Real talk. But um, number eight, um, you only doing this shit for money. Now, bro, if you only doing this for money, it's not for you. Cause like I said earlier, 
you're not gonna you're not gonna be making money straight out the bat doing this shit, bro. You're not. And a lot of people, uh, I'm not even gonna say a lot of people. Whenever you're doing something that you really care about, bro, you gotta have like a why to why you're doing it. Money is not a why, bro. Money is not a why. A why is something like. Oh, I'm doing this to provide for my family. That's a why. You know what I'm saying? I know my why. My why is because I want to give back to my community, the black community. That's my why. My why is because I want to be able to have something to give back to my kids when I'm dead and gone. That's my why. My why is because I want to have something, you know what I'm saying, give back to my family. That's my why. You got to figure out your why and you got to, you know what I'm saying, really lock in on that and really, um, Make sure that the people that you sell it to understands that why. Because if they don't know why you're doing it, why they gonna buy from you? You get what I'm saying? So that's just some stuff you need to uh, really understand and really try to incorporate in your brand. Um, and I feel like that goes on to number nine and that's just the overall image for your brand. Um, now, if you don't know nothing about image, I, I suggest that you just search it up because uh, this can be kind of confusing. To get an image for your brand, that's kind of, um, that's something you gotta build up over time. But uh, let's say, I'm trying to figure out how I can explain this to y'all. You, know you gotta have, you gotta basically implant the image of what your brand is in a head. And what I mean by this, like, let's say my brand Black Power, right? My brand is Black Power. Um, what I want people to think about when they, uh, when they cop my brand is just like, um, being bold, feeling empowered, feeling like they, they supporting the black community and stuff like that. I want them to feel like they standing out, but they standing out for a purpose. You feel me? That's the, that's the image I want them to have in my brand. Like when they think about my brand, I want them to think about a fucking, uh, black fucking Nubian king with a crown on his head type shit. You know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Like. That's the image I want them to have in my head when they think about my brand. And I want them to feel like when they buy my shit, that's what they support. And they support in the black community, black power movement. Feel me? That's, that's, what I, that's what I want them to feel. I want them to feel empowered, bruh. So that's the type of image I'm going for my brand. You got to figure out your image. Like, I don't know. If you if you one of them niggas that, that's, that's making one of them motion brands, bruh, obviously motion is played out. But... You gonna want niggas to think about like money and shit when they when they think about your brand. Dude. Getting money, you know what I'm saying? Driving Hellcats. That's why a lot of niggas with these motion brands, they be having Hellcats because they want you to have that image that they live in a certain type of lifestyle. And it works for them because like some of them niggas, they be making bread. They be having the Hellcat SRTs, you feel me? And that, that fits their brand, so that's what works for them. But you gotta figure out what image works for you, man. And yeah, that leads us on to number 10. The last one, all right? And that's that you're just not consistent. And, bro, consistency is key because with this clothing brand shit, like, you can't just do this shit one week, next week, you ain't fucking with it. Next week after that, you, you fucking with it again. You can't do that, bro. Like, literally, like, this shit is way too much work. You gotta learn too much shit for you to just be bullshitting and think you just gonna, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna work like that, bro. You gotta, you gotta be on this shit every day. At least trying, bro. At least, at least try five times out of a week. If you wanna take two days off, at least do the shit five times out of a week. Cause I'm gonna keep it real, bro. You're not gonna get nowhere being inconsistent. It's just not gonna get you nowhere, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, bro, that shit, come on, bro. You gotta be consistent, bro. Um, and I guess I got one more, and that's number 11. And that's just that you don't know how to, you don't know how to budget. Yeah. You don't know how to budget your money. If you don't know how to budget your money, brother, you're gonna be cooked forever. You might go into debt, niggas might wanna kill you, niggas might wanna blow your house up because they ain't get they package in, in, in two months because you done spent the, the bulk order money. If you don't know how to budget, like what the fuck is he, what is you doing, bro? 
Like, come on, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Imagine you was buying. Imagine you was buying from a nigga, right? And it's like, you bought from them. Like, you bought like a jacket or something. It looked fire and shit like that. You bought the hoodie. And then you found out that the nigga spent all the money from his bulk order that he was supposed to be using to get your jacket on a fucking Hellcat SRT and that you never get in your jacket ever again. Or you not getting that shit till next December. Bro, you're gonna be mad as fuck. You're not gonna fuck with that nigga. You're never, you're never gonna wanna buy from him again. You definitely not gonna be a part of this nigga community. You definitely gonna block this nigga. And you definitely gonna motherfucking, uh, you might sue the nigga to try to get some money. But I don't know, bro. You might do a refund. I don't know, bro. But that causes so, budgeting causes so many problems, bro, that if you, if you don't know how to budget, just quit. Just quit, learn how to budget first, then come back and then do the shit because I feel like, bro, it's gonna be so stressful for you. There's not even gonna be a point of even doing this shit if you have a problem saving and not spending certain money and all of this other shit, bro. But yeah, man, I feel like that's it for this vid. Um, if you fuck with it, go ahead and leave a like, man. Uh, damn, I'm kind of exhausted, bro. Like, I'm not really fuck, bro. Like, this shit is 23 minutes long. Man. I'm not good at this shit. But yeah, uh. If y'all fuck with this video, go ahead and leave a like, man. We're gonna have the Discord and shit. Yeah, man. If y'all fuck with this vid, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, y'all fuck with me, go ahead and subscribe. I feel like that's the end of this vid, man. I'll see y'all next time.